In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Iroshizuku's Yamaguri Fountain Pen Ink. I'll go over the specs, I will do a ink test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this ink coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, it really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So today gonna to be doing Iroshizuku Yamaguri. I'm gonna be using an ink miser today. Iroshizuku, again, is Pilot's premium ink line. It's probably my favorite ink line, just because I like more lubricated inks, and that's just how Iroshizuku tends towards. It's also $24 for 50 milliliters, and you get a very pretty bottle. So it's just a great package. Now, Yamaguri means wild chestnut, and this is kind of an interesting brown color. I didn't end up loving the color as much as I thought I would. It's sort of a, a medium brown color, but it's not like a super warm brown. It almost is more cool. And on this Cosmo Air Light paper, it almost has like a, a purple tinge to it. Now this is a Paper Mind Cosmo Air Light hardcover notebook. I really like this for fountain pen inks because it really just makes the ink pop. In terms of the writing sample, we've done Lamy Pure Fine here. And then we've done a 1.9 millimeter Lummi stub. And there's medium shading, not crazy shading. I think it looks better on this thicker 1.9 millimeter nib, but it's not like super brown. It's more of a cooler shade of brown, if that if there can be such a thing. And it's a little bit more purple. On other papers, I think it looks less purple. So like if you use this on Tomoe River or Cosmo Air Light, like this. I think it turns a bit more purpley where this is Rhodia 80 GSM. It looks a little bit more brown, but it does still kind of have that cooler look. And then this is bank paper. And again, it looks more brown here where on these super coated papers, it kind of has more of a, a purpley look. Now, in terms of the writing performance, it's very lubricated, cleans out of my pens really easily, really enjoyed writing with it. I just, I don't know, I didn't get on with the color as much as I, I thought I would. In terms of dry times, Cosmo Air Light, 25 seconds. On bank paper, 25 seconds also. Again, this isn't a scientific test. Still trying to figure out how to do this in a more logical way. Let's do some live writing. We can start with the Kakimori metal nib here and just kind of lay down some ink. And it looks more red when it's going down, but then it kind of turns cooler in color as it dries. Then we can just do the Kakimori pen nib here. And I'll run out of ink there. Okay, and then let's do the ruling nib. Lay down some more ink. Nope, and we're... Finally, the round ornament nib. Then we'll do some water testing here and just see how it holds up to water. We'll let that dry and see how it comes out. Um, but so I'll be back in a minute. Looking at like where I put down a lot of ink, you can definitely see, or maybe I hope you can see. There's a little bit of a golden sheen going on here. It still hasn't fully dried over here. And then for waterproof, 
you know, it's definitely not waterproof, although it didn't go away as completely as some other ones, but I still, if you need an iron gall ink, this definitely isn't going to be it. You can see it, it really does have purple in there. It's an interesting ink. So what are my pros and cons for the Orochizuku Yamaguri ink? Well, biggest pro is the performance. This is a very nice lubricating brown ink. It works really well in all the pens that I've tested it with, and it's just a, a pleasure to write with. It's also quite easy to clean out of pens, and it's an interesting, kind of more unique shade of brown than I am used to. Kind of has a purple, cooler tinge to it. Definitely not the sort of brown that I've used in the past, so it is kind of nice to see something new here. I also, of course, love the Hiroshi Zuku bottle. For $24, you get 50 milliliters. It's a really nice package. I really just love this ink line. I, I think it's excellent. In terms of cons, I didn't end up getting on with the, the color as much as I, I thought I would, but otherwise performance, I, I really like it. There's kind of a, a purpleness to it, a coolness to it that I don't like as much as some other browns, but really that's just personal preference. But that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this ink? Do you like this ink? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And until next time.